Martial arts like judo, boxing, and taekwondo have long been a part of the Olympics. For the first time ever, karate will join their ranks as it becomes an Olympic martial arts event in Tokyo. We've asked Cleveland Baxter, chair of the USA Karate Federation's referee committee, to teach us about the new event. We, we have two disciplines in, in karate. One is uh, kata and one is kumite. In English, one is the forms and the other is the, the fighting. The kata is similar to a, um, a performance such as like uh, in gymnastics, you have the floor exercises. The athletes, called karate kas, demonstrate a chosen kata out of a list of roughly 100 in front of seven judges. The judges will have two sets of criteria for judging, technicality and athleticism. So within the technical criteria, they're going to be looking for uh, stances within the, the form, demonstration of the movements from one technique to the other. They will be looking for focus of energy, how you use your eyes, the rhythm of the kata. The other criteria, they'll be looking for their power, their speed, and their balance. So the judges will give two sets of scores. The two highest and lowest scores are eliminated, and the three remaining scores are averaged. The two sets of scores are weighted. The technical score counts for 70%. Athleticism counts for 30%. At this level of competition, you have the best of the best. There is not much room for error, but you're not going to see too many mistakes. So I think what's going to separate these athletes is their power and speed. Now onto the other discipline, the kumite. The fighting is perhaps the most exciting. The fighting is where the two competitors are pitted against each other. They're going to be using many techniques in terms of punching, kicking, takedowns. There is a system of scoring. All punches to the body, head, neck, face, it's one point. All the kicks to the body will be two points. All the kicks to the head are three points. All the takedowns where you follow through with a score will be three points. Each fight will be three minutes long. Players win if they get an eight point lead before the three minutes are up, or if they end the bout with more points. If it's a tie, the player who scored the first point wins. But if it's scoreless after three minutes, there is a system in place for the officials, the four judges and the referee to pick a winner. They look at three criteria to determine who was the best fighter. They look at the, the attitude, fighting spirit of the competitor, who is also initiating most of the attack and who's trying to score with the most difficult techniques. So taking all of that into consideration, the panel will make a determination as to who warrants to win this bout. There you have it, the rules of the new karate competition at the Olympics. Now you're ready to watch the kata and kumite like a karateka.